And yeah. I personally can tell you, I don't care. What I care about is somebody telling me what I can and cannot right. do. That's where it all comes down to. To sum up all the stuff we were talking, whatever, don't boss me. Stay the fuck out of my business. It's about the individual, and that's it. Pretty much. Freedom, bro. Right. Freedom first. It's in the title. Fucking read it. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. This is episode 37 of the Grim 86. Oh, yeah. Freedom First Podcast. 32 ounces of deliciousness. <laughs> My name's Jamie. I'm Johnny Doe. I'm not doing quote today. <laughs> Aaron Danger. <laughs> My name is Kenny, and there's a lot of blackness going on. Yeah. Right yeah. I got, I'm Fuck super stoked yeah. about how we look today here. This whole, I the think whole overall look. This is the darkest it's been, right? Yeah, yeah. very dark. Mm. We were gonna do. Like I feel a, like I'm the cream in the middle of a fucking Oreo. We, we were delicious. gonna do the. We were gonna do. Like Why didn't you put stuff. Jamie in the middle so that way <laughs> double it could have been a double, double stuff? Remember, Oreo. remember yeah. that joke I had planned for yeah. like the well, longest. We fucked Damn it up it. for you on purpose. I know. I can't, op- I can't open this yeah. fucking beer. What's going on here, oh, folks? Here. No, no. I have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I have to do His this. Pet, you will be a man when there you open the bottle. I got it. My fucking left handed it. You graduated. Jesus Christ. I was he uses his weak hand, by the way. Hey, you got to switch it up every once in a while. <laughs> Otherwise, your right hand will get yeah, fatigued. Yeah, you got to jerk it sometimes on the left side. I was about to have a right fucking side. issue. Can't a get into like, my beer. Hey, like, yo, safety. Did you hear the panic in his voice? He's like, I can't get this <laughs> fucking beer Dude, open I, o- I almost had to cancel the show. I was like, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> it's yeah. the end of the world. I'm going upstairs. He needs his baba. Fuck this. We're going to get fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, your birthday weekend, right, Kenny? Hey, so and, and, and Aaron and mine. It's yeah, and Aaron. Yeah, I remember Holy that? shit! Yeah, it's out of control. What He's are the on the twentieth. I'm on the twenty first. Yep, we're but getting down. His bitch ass has to go to work in the morning. So I do. My bitch ass has to go to work. If not, I'd be up all night. Yeah, that's a fucking, fucking bet. Raging. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, file that yep. under. No one cares. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> whammy. Wow. Whammy. <laughs> so, a uh, couple new things this week. Uh, we're in color. Whammy. Yeah. Uh, we're we're, we're we got color. Two colors, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got two colors this week. <laughs> That's not what I said. Jamie's uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> hey, there's two black guys. What happened? This is uh, a wrong Isn't it weird that we made the show color and then all of a sudden. Right. Then yeah. it's in color with two black guys. Do like, we plan this, on? Jamie? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is it's not. It was supposed to happen. <laughs> okay, now I'm really uncomfortable. Now he's uncomfortable. But here's the bad thing: it's you not have... black and white anymore, so you can see how light bright I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm more. You know, I'm more yeah. of a little darker. Yeah. I mean, there's different shades. So we're not the same person now that you see us in the yeah, well, Now okay. that you see us. I look like a vampire actually... compared to Jamie. <laughs> you look like powder. Well, it's because I got my fucking, the, the brim of my hat on is yeah. what's keeping me a little dark. That and I got some well, sun over the past couple And not only that, weeks. if yeah, you guys you haven't noticed, it's our new background. Which yes. Is you look like yeah. So. We the finally Reaper. figured out how to get the fucking green screen working after all this goddamn time. Yeah, did you guys know that was green the whole time? No, you yeah, didn't. You didn't. Because it wasn't in color. Give him a titty twister a little bit there. Yeah. So now you know this is one of the designs for the shirt yep. on the, the Reaper uh, website. Shirt. Yeah, the Reaper fuck shirt. Yeah. Yeah. So awesome shirt. Go ahead and get that. Help support the and, channel. And uh, uh, Jamie, go ahead and uh, grab that uh, that picture real quick, Ooh. and we'll show them the new one to come that we're going to be uh, putting out today. Let's so see. Okay, bring so, yeah, you so this. That there is the That'll new be the design. Yeah. Badass. Uh, someone had mentioned they wanted a patch, mm-hmm. and uh, I drew Shout that out up. to Joe Garcia. What up, Joe? I drew that up real quick because I think that would be a really cool, like a uh, rocker or a name name tape uh, yeah. patch. Um, but I'm also gonna put it on a shirt, so yep. you guys will be able to get that and a hoodie, and a hoodie. Are Definitely we, are we hoodie. gonna do the border too with the uh, shirt? Uh, I was thinking maybe not the border yeah. on the shirt. I'm thinking not. No, this is for dude. <laughs> you should totally do a an eight bit Grim Reaper R on oh, the back of it. Yeah. I can probably do that. We'll talk about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're all planning on the show. Oh, shit. Dude, this is that, like uh, dude, we that, did. Oh, that Go takes ahead. me back right now, dude. It's like oh, you know, yeah. flashbacks of uh, 1914. Mm. So it was the, a good that year. was the year the Nintendo came out. It's a good year. Yeah. <laughs> All the God. kids are like, what the fuck? Yeah. The yeah. Nintendo? Sure. You mean the Switch? Extra, extra, <laughs> read all about you it. You mean the Cube? Yeah. No. The yeah. Nintendo. Oh. Fucking GameCube. Well, uh, um, anyone else got anything new that happened uh-huh. recently? 
I'm drinking a 32 ouncer. That's pretty new. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fucking new. Yeah. After all that shit talk about hey, 40s, right? Yeah. That's finally, Jamie missed his opportunity there. Hasn't supplied the goods in a while. Yeah. Ooh. Don't know that's that. That's why I don't know either. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So Johnny, I come to your house. You're supposed to have fucking beer. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Energy drink. I for feel beer. like we talked about expectations on our show. Beer. <laughs> we'll talk Aaron. about this off the air. Off the air. <laughs> we're, we're airing all the laundry you're, and uh, you're gonna get punished <laughs> off yeah. the air. All you mm. punished. Mm, don't threaten me with a good yeah, time. Right? Some people right? pay extra for that one. <laughs> yeah. Or, or it's gonna cost. Yeah, I asked I <laughs> asked Ain't uh, nothing free. I asked uh, Aaron if he was a happy ma- uh, married man and then just smiled at him. So that was before the show. Nice little wink. Yeah. Huh. I think I might have gotten that recorded. I don't know. Oh, hopefully, because oh, maybe that'll we'll edit that yeah. in. That was that was funny. That was Splicer on it. He in was there. all I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> I pulled a Jamie. I'm uncomfortable. I don't want to talk about it. You guys got enough space? Yeah. 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 Scoot over. I moved over somewhere. All right. Yeah. There you go. All right, so if you, I move over any farther, we're not used. No, 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 we haven't had you. four guys uh, on the podcast right. uh, in like two months, three months. Yeah, but we've gained another like three and a half inches width wise because the last guy. What up, Chris? Yeah, shout out to Chris. Was a little fella. Yeah. So. Yeah, but still. We upgraded. Still, I was, I'm not used to the watching your elbows now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Compared to how it was. I was like just cruising in the middle. Like sometimes just, we can make it, sometimes we can't. Sure. It, what, there's, it was there's pretty spacious. Stuff going it was on. pretty spacious. Plus, I'm having a fat day, so, you know. It happens. Ooh. Every day carbs. for me is a fat carbs. day. Carbs. Mm. Yeah. We're working on that, I had though. a bit too much uh, water. So. You're, but you're yeah. bloated. Honestly, I mean, I weighed myself the other day. I weighed myself, what, you know, the other night I was, you know, I lost about eight pounds from two weeks ago, not even doing shit. Well, yeah. Other other than working crazy ass hours. I got on the scale and it's all, get the fuck off me! (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, my scale before I even went to go step on it was like, nigga, don't even think about it. You know, you Yeah, before you even put your foot down. It was like, warning. You you know, you know. (laughs) <laughs> Back the fuck up. We were not ready for that yeah, weight. It has you a stand your ground your law. Yeah, the scale. exactly. <laughs> don't like, I don't even know why you took me out the box, Playboy. You already know. <laughs> like, is that my weight or is that my fucking phone number? Right? What's for happening? Real. Fuck. Area code. The 10 digit number is your weight. <laughs> <laughs> what? Shit. I thought that was a phone number. No, we call it for Step help. Step on the scale. It's like, yipe, 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 yipe. <laughs> Damn. Just gives up. Right. All right. So, <laughs> yeah, pretty much dialed yeah. in at that point. So, what we're saying is to check us out on Pornhub. Pretty That's much. what we're pretty much saying. You should always check us out on yeah. Pornhub because we're sure. rock stars on Pornhub. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think. Yeah, you're, totally. I don't think you're going to get sidetracked at all on no, Pornhub. Not no, not at all. No, not at all. All our freedom fighters have laser-like focus. So, yeah. That's what we appreciate yeah. about you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, Jamie. Where are we going from here? Uh, let's Save go ahead, us. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into it, man. <laughs> Save me uh, from myself. <laughs> we're going to talk about this little fuck, David Hogg, Cave again. man, motherfucker's back. What did this guy do again? You got to fucking... <laughs> someone's got... Okay, what, what do you, you got to read again? this? Listen to what he said about... Uh, what I was talking. there. Jamie, check it out. Jay, oh, I mean, uh, Kenny, you got it? Do you wait, wait, wait. Oh, go, you want me to read it? Oh, can okay. We, can we, actually, can we scroll down to the other one first? And you got to sound one. like... And you got to sound like a little whiny bitch while you do it. I'll, just the first part, read this. Hi, my name is David Hogg, and if you need an AR-15 to defend yourself, you need more target practice. Are you fucking... Because fu- you're at a terrible shooting. Are you fucking out of your fucking mind, dude? Uh, have you ever... It's wait, like, this guy doesn't know... So, he thinks because you have an AR-15... It's not a belt-fed machine gun, <laughs> right. and it's not a goddamn shotgun. Like, what are you fucking talking about? You, you have still to shoot one aim bullet at a the time. goddamn you gun. You have right. two sights, you line them up, and you fucking have to shoot, just like a pistol. That's because Princess here has no idea. Well, he's used to chucking spears, the fucking caveman yeah. motherfucker. I don't get Throwing that. boulders How, on this? T-Rexes and shit. David Wait, Hogg reminds me of that reporter that shot the... Uh, you know, shot the air fifteen <laughs> oh in the PTSD. Yeah, we oh my that god! One. Yeah, just, yeah. Oh my he god! A, uh, yeah, he was a reporter how the or the general idiot. That right. Was like, ah! But how is he is verified on Twitter? Wait, what? How is he verified on Twitter? Because they just give that shit out, dude. Like you, you want a gold medal? You, yeah. you want a blue star? Know, you want a blue badge? You got it, bud. It's fucking stupid, dude. I've been on Twitter for a decade, and I, I'm still not verified. Because he's probably got a shit ton of followers now. Yeah. I don't a bunch, bunch of, of sheep. stupid kid fucks. I cannot get the hang of that bunch shit. Bunch of sheep. 
I cannot get the hang of Twitter. Yeah. I can hey, look at our screen. It was all white. That was weird. I know. I was trying to fix it like on the fly, but I'm going to need to work uh, on okay. that on the side. Too soon to come. Yeah. David Hogg right. with two Gs. You can find me at fairyprincess.com. <laughs> Uh, well, okay. Can you scroll back up to the top one while yeah, we're talking about just I will. to let Kenny scream it? Because, because what I wanted to bring up was that he tries to say, uh, my dad was in this profession where he came home every day with a Glock on his right. waist. Like, first of all, like literally name dropping the name of a, a gun manufacturer. Like, right. I feel like everybody that doesn't know anything about guns always calls, calls it a Glock. If it's yeah, a pistol. Exactly. It's like it's like it's like uh, the 90s. Kleenex or Q-Tex. Yeah. You always call them those things, even if they're made by another company. You know what I mean, right. dude? Dude, I'm, uh, I mean, I remember back in the day, like everybody would call a, you know a gun a Glock, and it'd be like, yeah, I got my Glock, and it's like, dude. Well, that's where a I'm from, we just call them Gats. Word. Well, I'm from that upper part of town. I'm from the hood. <laughs> that's why I'm, called them I'm not from the hood. I'm you you would take that. your glove off and slap them right. and say, I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> to a duel, duel sir. <laughs> How dare you walk take around with Take out the old musket. <laughs> Jamie, <laughs> sir. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I challenge Excuse you. Me. <laughs> Happy uh, so honor. Clock. So basically this dude is saying because what his dad do- does for a profession that he's grew up around right. firearms. But... If you grew up around firearms, sh- then why would you say, if your dad came home every day with a Glock on his hip? I've been shooting guns since fourth grade. It would be the same thing as if you lived in California as right. having a AR-15. They're semi-automatic rifles. One shoots a different caliber than the other one. You still have to squeeze the trigger every yeah. time to have You a- can have an AR-9. Right. So, so but, yeah. But what the fuck is his point? I mean, so your dad comes home with a Glock on. I mean, it was because everyone's like, "You don't know about guns," blah blah blah. So he's he was trying like, to put himself. My dad came home yeah. every day with my a daddy. fairy dust on his hip, yeah. and he would swing me around. Well, dude, my dad was a welder. My dad was a welder, dude, like, and what? I don't know shit about welding. I don't mean, <laughs> right? You know, exactly. Right. My dad was a welder. <laughs> That's a good and he point. Did this, yeah. and it's like yeah. I don't. That don't mean shit. Yeah. Yeah, oh, well. my, my dad uh, drove trucks, and I can't fucking back up with a trailer attached to anything. <laughs> like, <laughs> I sure, learned, yeah. I'm learning how to drive trucks right now. It's crazy. Yeah. There you go. That's new. Yeah, it's new. It's a Dude, you know, yeah. it's a life skill. Fuck it. Why not? I just signed up uh, for my job. I just signed up for my class A. Nice. nice. Yeah, and they paid for it. Nice. That shit is expensive. Dude, I was like, oh, she was like, oh, okay. Here's the corporate credit card. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Dude, I don't, yeah. and I don't have to pay this back. Wait a minute. Are y'all telling me y'all finna to give me a skill where I can make 10 times what I'm making here and y'all and don't pay what for you, it? Dude, you got to milk these guys. <laughs> right. you, dude, you got to milk your jobs for these valuable skills because honestly, dude, they're going to pay for it, you know, and yeah. you can just put that on your and resume. And I was like, you do realize on. that as soon as I'm done with this shit, I'm the hell of out of here. Like, I'm <laughs> out of here. Yeah. Right? Y'all yeah. motherfuckers fucked up. Yeah, take take advantage of the situation. Oh, I am. Because when can. she was like, oh, we'll pay for that. Oh, you'll pay for well, it. Yeah. Mm-mm. I start next week. Also, <laughs> uh, make sure you guys, as you're watching right now, thumbs up the video because it helps push us out. Since we're shadow banned, it's All like, right. they, they, at least that we know of, they can't take away your likes or dislikes. Oh, yeah, they can. Oh, I haven't seen it. Yeah. I've only I've only seen the views affected or the way they push us out like for searching. Right. Right. So... Make thumbs sure them up, and it'll up. push our uh, the Click algorithm. The subscribe button. It'll push it. Tell your friends. So, share yeah. us. No, like, you, you know what it feels yeah. like? It feels like you gotta sit there and be like, you know what, man? You got any of that Grim eighty six? Sure. You know, <laughs> totally. Yeah. yeah, I got some of that Grim eighty six yeah. right here, brother. You know. So yeah. if you want your shit pushed, thumbs up <laughs> is what we're saying. That's or, or call or call. <laughs> <John>. <laughs> I can't even get that out. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even get that out. <laughs> sure. All right. Or give Johnny a call sure. if you, you want your ship. Yeah, we can negotiate some <laughs> yeah. black work, market. Work, uh, work something out. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm all about the free market, bro. Right. We make money any way we can. Sure. This wow. fucking guy, David. It's I all about the hustle. <laughs> God, yeah, so right. getting back to David Running. fucking Hogg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is there any other, uh, you guys got any more thoughts on David Hogg before we get uh, on? None that won't I mean, get me fuck arrested. Fuck him, dude. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The bottom line is, dude, fuck him, dude. Like. He comes out here and fucking runs his goddamn mouth and tries to. He wants to take our guns away, basically. So the, he goes on no, there and says, "I he, don't want to take your guns away." He's still trying to be relevant. That's the thing. Yeah, that just wants to be relevant. Yeah, that's but all it is. The, all the fucking idiot left wingers and the fucking crazy statists that Yo, want gun control. He just wants. It doesn't to be matter, relevant. but they play lip service. To but him, that's you know like what the mean? whole thing. Speaking of that, we don't have that story up, but Karma, what's her name? Carmela, Camilla, uh, uh, Harris? Camilla Harris. Yeah. 
is running her platform is that she's gonna. This is the Hawaiian to, one, right? I don't know what she is. She's like she's running for confused. president. Yeah, Who the fuck I think cares it's the Hawaiian who? one. Yeah, she's like trying to ban all imports yep. of like assault weapons and everything else, and it's like, what dude, the fuck is an assault yeah. weapon? Get exactly. Out of here! It's I've never it's seen an assault. It's one weapon. with the tassels on it, and it's got the sparklers that come out of the end of it. Yeah, I have no the idea. The term that. just makes me so mad. Cause yeah, it's like, we know. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> the freedom right. fighters at home know. Exactly. <laughs> Don't triggered. Yeah. They're triggered. All right. Like, all right. They're like, oh, yeah. Stop saying that. Yeah. I had one of those. This is my what? safe space. The massive. Spider. Why do you always? Ju- <laughs> you do this on every show you're on. You always jump to the story. It's like, no, we're not done. Are we? Yeah, we're done. We beat that. Oh, okay, so we're done talking we're about David Hogg, guys. Yeah. yeah. Fuck that dude. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Yeah. Okay. Right. Fuck that guy. I the was Goliath. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So this thing. All right. Check this fucking thing out. My I had to do it because I hate fucking spiders. My homie. This is called the it's called the Jamie's Goliath favorite. Bird Eater. Yeah, dude, they're yeah. badass. Do you have the arachnophobia? Yeah, he I does. I don't like the he, spiders. He doesn't like bugs, but look at that. And you know what? They taste delicious. That's what this article says. Yeah. Straight up. They taste hella good. Is it protein <laughs> at that point? Yeah, so if like you if you're ever like protein. stranded or whatever, you can basically uh put it in the fire, it burns the little hairs off so they don't Get caught in your, like your throat and stuff because they're poisonous. They're yeah. barbed. Yeah, but they actually they they taste really good. Cool. Apparently, kids uh, kids that are like wait, in wait, the wait. villages where they are, they uh they do they catch them so they can eat them. Eat them. Yeah. Uh, they mostly wait. eat worms, which is kind of cool. You've you've eaten yes that I've eaten yeah. a bunch. You of take off the the stuff, fangs yeah. too. I think. Look at that fucker. Fuck that shit. That's man. a small one compared to uh, how normally no. how big they get. Why would you do that? Oh Why would God, you eat it, damn it! No. Why would you eat it? Yeah. Why? Oh, it was for Why? a survival survival course. Thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Fuck it. Okay. Don't eat roaches. There's no nutritional value, and they taste like horrible. You smoke them. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> like instantly, I was like, "Oh, the old smoke roaches," and I was like, "Oh, okay, I get it. Yeah. I get it." <laughs> yep. All right. Oh, shit. Yeah, so yeah, that big yeah. old fucker. So if you guys get any of these and you want to get rid of them, you give them to Kenny and he'll eat them. Yeah. Mm. yeah. The but, fuck, but they have to be the ones directly from Venezuela. Oh, okay. well. Like, have you heard of Venezuela? <laughs> <laughs> have you heard, <laughs> bruh? <laughs> have you heard? So following that video, this oh, is yeah. uh, this is this is how I take care of this. <laughs> <laughs> Way sad. Fuck you, spider. <laughs> Nope, Fuck you, Spider. Totally legit. <laughs> <laughs> Not well today, done, Spider. Sir. This is why we have all Pop. extra spackle because Jamie's got fucking bullet holes all on the wall. What are you doing? There's a spider. Jamie's desk popping I spiders up there. Jamie! <laughs> right? Like what? Spider! <laughs> I fucking throw my carrier and helmet right. and dive yeah. behind the bed. <laughs> We're good. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> shit. <laughs> Take that's cover! Uh, yeah, it gives me flashbacks to Nom every time. That's, <laughs> only, that's the only downside. All right. Yo, this nigga's a genius. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to bring this one up just because it's fucking hilarious. So th- it is everything the title says. This guy goes around to KFC. I don't know if it was one restaurant or several, um, but he convinced that the staff that he was a member of some sort of head office. <laughs> he had a buddy that would drive him up in a limo. Because he was a, nice. a part-time limo driver. Right. And he said he would go into, like, the, the kitchen and everything and take notes and do all sorts of stuff. But what he said is that he was a... <laughs> He's uh, committed to his craft. Yeah. He was a, a, a quality um, meal inspector. So nice. they would serve him, and then he would just eat there for fucking free. Sweet. And uh, it said... Actually, this article said um, it took them almost two years to uh, fucking find out that he was just scamming him. Yeah. Well, it's because he's coming back too much. Dude, it's... You that's don't just piss so where you funny. eat, bro. That's... Yo. Okay. So there's, they're like not all uh, fucking heroes. <laughs> I do work not KFC. endorse this in any yeah. way. Yeah. So Dude. I I used to work for KFC all through high school, right? So you could eat if you work for them, you can eat as much as you want on your breaks. Like and literally, when I say as much as you want, if you wanted to sit down Bucket and eat a shit. twenty piece, like they didn't care. Like it was all good. So I know they got to be hot because. Have you been to KFC lately? The prices no. are fucking ridiculous Hell there. No. I can't personally eat KFC anymore because I worked there all through high Ugh. school and I'm like over it. I, I've yeah. never worked yeah. there and I can't eat their food. I hate it. It's yeah. a lot worse now than it was 
back in well the when old I days. when I eat it back in the day, it's like they changed the recipe or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. It's like different. So totally the way different. they cook the chicken now is completely different to how it used to be. It's yeah, it's crazy. We won't be back next week because we're gonna get sued from KFC right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for slander. But I like KFC. I don't mind. He's all oh, I love. <laughs> the pot pies are awesome. I just oh, go you know to, I just go to Taco the, Bell, bro. The pot pies are awesome at KFC. They are. Sure. But you know what I seen or today? Or you could go to Taco Bell. It's way better. They're, they're owned by the same company. Dude, so That's I was favorite. driving. Dude, dude, so I was on the bus, you know, you know, you know, just looking out and all that stuff. And I. Uh, wait, you're see, driving the bus or just riding the bus? Riding the Short bus. bus. I'm sorry. <laughs> Aaron's all, wait, what? So following that fucking Speaking legend. Speaking of heroes. Yeah, check this bullshit out. Yeah. The Batman. See, he would be a Taco Bell. No. <laughs> what? 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 So this is why I can't fucking guy, drink this, this shit <laughs> because I go to get. I was about to say something. And I caught myself. Uh, <laughs> so I this so guy, caught myself. This guy uh, came up on a crime scene and uh, there was an armed gunman in here. And so basically, the writer is like being a little bitch, saying that this guy is taking cosplay too far and all that. Well, it's like, was he really past the, the police line? Did he really do anything? Like, come on, it's the Batman, bro. Like. They should just step back and let. They should be covering for him, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> let, like, let old Brucey take care of I'm it. I'm going in. You know what I mean? Like that's like what you're supposed to do. And if they didn't want him there, why the fuck did they put up the bat signal? Because <laughs> <laughs> it was Canada, bro. Well, I mean, you Canadian? know, he wasn't. He would have been there faster if he was still in Gotham. But right. like, he went out of his fucking way. At the, you know, that shit costs some money, even though he's a billionaire. Hey. Or whatever he is. Spare he's, no expense. He's just gonna charge it back to the people. No, not the bat. Come on now, Bruce Wayne is a the bat does wealthy tax. man. Yeah, the bat yeah. doesn't tax. The bat fucking funds that shit himself. He only dude. taxes that ass. Mm. So that ass. Yeah, you seen Catwoman lately, right? No. Oh, oh yes. Nah. Harley I'm, Quinn's got I'm a little thing even, for him I'm too, not bro. Even going there, what? Bro. <laughs> What's wrong? Nope. 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 <laughs> well, Just, Commissioner nah, Gordon's cool with them, nah. so I mean, nope, you know. Nope, not today. Say, yeah. not today. So yeah, not I mean, I, I say, what's wrong with that? Like, Jamie, did you read the? Did you read that? Like what they were saying about no, it? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. I did. Well, basically, they're just pissed off that he showed up. He basically just asked, can I help? I'm Batman. Oh. And That's, they're like, what the yeah. fuck? Yeah, and then they make a bit, you know, and the writer was the one, like, I don't even know what the police, like, their statement was about it. Obviously, they said to get back, you know what I mean? They but laughed like, at him. Yeah, sure. And then the Batman punched dude's throat out. <laughs> he came See, through the skylight. I thought, I thought it was funny, <laughs> sure. but like... Maybe maybe don't do that in an active gunman situation. Yeah, I mean, I would rather have Batman there timing. than not. So. If it was like yeah. a shoplifter, like that would have been awesome. He just hey, tackles him okay. or something. Hey, what, hey what boy, Wonder over there. Just yeah. What if down it was work. Deadpool? <laughs> what just happened right now? What if it was Deadpool? He dude, he shows up. You know, dude shows yeah. up his DP, Deadpool. Bro. And he's like, he, he, hey, yeah. they would have let that slide because Deadpool's Canadian. That, <laughs> I'm just saying, it would have been all good. <laughs> Reynolds, <All> right? <laughs> uh, yeah, totally. I'm just saying. Totally. Jesus. But I don't see what the fucking problem that you guys have with this. This is. I like, don't have a problem with it. Well, I think only it's the funny. fact that he didn't bring Taco Bell. <laughs> well, yeah. He runs for the border. We've seen it on the show. It would have made the situation go a yeah, lot Yeah, he could have passed out. Right. He could have passed the Taco Bell out to all the cops so they could sit back and relax, and he came in through the skylight and fucking dominated. Could have fucking had one of those uh, those party packs so it comes like the 10 oh, tacos. Sure. That's dude, what I was thinking. Yes. On each, each hand, hands it out to the cops. A couple of fucking Baja yeah. blasts to go around. Yeah. And Perfect. the new Nacho Bell Grande. And, Perfect plug. And maybe uh, fucking Dunkin' Donuts for the rest of them. No, so. Dunkin' Donuts. Cops, bro. No well, he's not getting Starbucks, so. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> no. He don't have time for that shit. So. The Batmobile doesn't fit through the drive-thru anyway. Well, nope. yeah. Well, we've seen it through the drive-thru. The, I saw it at Walmart. The 90s in the, Batmobile. Sure. And that, yeah, you're right. The Tumblr's different. Yeah, the Tumblr's too wide to go through normal drive throughs And the new one, whatever that's called. Now, so what's your favorite um, Batmobile? I like the newest one, actually, because it has the miniguns on it. Mm, the one from uh, Batman vs. Superman. Oh. Yeah, and uh, the Justice League had the fucking miniguns. Jamie, yours? But I like how the Tumblr looks the best, personally. Um, So, I think, yeah, the Tumblr's really cool. I think my favorite one, where my heart actually lives, is the one from the Keaton Batman. Michael Keaton yeah. is the most iconic. Exactly, yeah. Jamie. Thank so, I would you. say iconically, yes, but I like 
if I were to have Mine one. Mine is 1960s Batman because that car's dope, bro. Super bomb, <laughs> and it's a Pontiac. It GTS. was cool. That's where everything. Honestly, came from. I gotta say the Tumbler, dude, the most realistic one. Yeah, that's what I'm I saying mean, too. Is realistically, that would be the one I'd go. With. The new one's a cross between the Tumbler and and how yeah. like yeah, the, yeah. The, I mean, the new one's bad. But I like too. it because you got those mini guns. I don't know. That's pretty. cool. They destroyed it. Though. The the yeah. Michael Keaton one had uh, mini guns yeah, too. Yeah, did. Well, Michael not mini Ke- guns, but they were machine guns. Right. Dude, the Michael Keaton one was so fucking badass, dude. Where I mean, it had the guns on it, dude. I mean, it could split, dude. You know. And oh, the dope lit. part was when on the wheels. Yeah. And then it had the freaking jacks that came down, boom, and turned it around. Yeah. Yeah. That was dope. Or like the bomb that dropped, dude, it armored itself. and Dude, that was cool. Yeah. Shields. He just talks into his little fucking intercom or whatever. Yeah. So anyways, he could have showed up with that, and they didn't fucking want that help either. So, I mean, they didn't show that in the picture, but I mean, Mm. I'm sure Mm. it's just off, you know, unless, you know, he probably came in the jet. So, because it was out of country. Yeah, the The bat bat wing. Because it's out of country. Dude, also, the Michael Keaton Batwing was the fucking coolest one. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I agree with that. Dude, the way totally. they did, you know, went up in the moon like that yeah, and the signal right? and ju- Pimp. Plus, the best CGI I've ever seen. Yeah, right. It was all practical. I'm wasn't just it? looking at Jamie yeah. right no. now. Like, mm. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Yeah, and, and the only bad thing about that jet, though, the only negative is it only takes one shot of a pistol to bring it down. Dude, yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Nah, but you seen the yeah. pistol that he pulled Dude, out. Dude, I mean, he pulled it out like... I don't give a fuck. That's that, a barrel. That was a wanted <laughs> pistol. Get the fuck out of here. Armored a, fucking shit. It was a shit. wanted pistol. Bro. I mean, you would Get think you would be able to... No. That was stupid. You know, Batman would be wanted like, you know what pistol. I want? You know, all this sh- cool shit. I mean, any... I mean, any How was he even walking pistol, around with right? that in his pants? Stupid. That, whole, that part was so stupid, dude. Want a pistol. Still yeah. by far the best Joker, though, hands down. The Jack Nicholson yep. Joker? He was pretty mm-hmm. good. He's yeah. all right. I, I like Heath, right. Leather, uh, Heath uh, Ledger Joker. Yeah, mm. he's all right. I still like uh, the I think the only series. reason why people say Heath Ledger did a good job is because he passed away. To be honest, uh, he just played a different kind of character. Right. Like I mean, it was, was it more was good, intense, yeah. And all, but it wasn't better than. I liked them both. I liked them. You know what I yeah. mean? I liked the animated uh, series Joker the best. Oh, oh yeah, dude, the Mark Hamill Joker, Joker was yeah. awesome. Luke. Luke. Yeah. Um. Do you, hey, I mean, what do you think about the Jared Leto in Flash what? too? Wait, wait, wait. Two questions. What? He plays a crazy character in Flash. Which one? Uh, Mark. What characters? What I mean? Like, what, I don't remember. He's a trickster on the on the TV show. Yeah. I don't remember. I just finished watching it like a couple months ago. Yeah, he's a trickster. I'd have to watch. I'm sure I remember when I saw it. I was like, oh, yeah, what the fuck? We talked about it what before. Was you, what was your, what were you saying? Shit, I forgot now. Oh. I heard both questions at the same uh, time. I was like, wait, what? Next time you come, bring enough for everybody or don't bring anything at all. Okay. What the fuck? I don't know. He's over there drinking my fucking beer, talking shit. Yeah. I wasn't even talking to you, so you can hush up down the d- there. The diva was speaking. Right. I was Jesus. Talking, I was talking to Aaron with his torpedo IPA. Hey, those are bomb, though. That's why I said that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because I just read the label, and I was the like, salt is real. I'm sorry. I will, over bring, here. I will bring some for the rest of the class. He Thank always you, brings know? it, but you're never here. Yeah. Uh, I always bring beer, but you're never semantics. here. You're welcome. I've been this here the, the first time. First of all. I've been here the last couple of times yeah, and he dude. hasn't been here. So don't be trying That's to true. buddy up with your hey, friend hey, over here. Hey, yeah. hey, we when, know. Cause when he I leaves, missed out. When he leaves, nigga, you here with me by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny's don't getting be, all bag of potato chips out. Out You better my get right. He got company. You want to try to show out in front of a motherfucker. <laughs> I thought you guys said he wasn't black. I'm the uh, motherfucking yeah. original. Sorry, it's the Miller <laughs> High Life. No, he Jamie. says that. This is Jamie's <laughs> fault. He got me over here drinking Miller High Life. Now you're getting all goofy now and I'm shit. I'm on character and shit. It's awesome. Black King and shit. This is fucking up. great. Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Black King Jamie's just like sitting back, right. eating bowl of popcorn over He's there like, watching. Yes. This is this my master great. plan. Uh, I'm just right, back here on. making sure the background looks good. That's my only job, yeah, dude. I like that shit looks clean, I man. like it. All right. Where are we at? Uh, we're, we can move on to topic one if you guys are ready. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Cool. Um, Kenny, I will let you fire that off. I'm going to go and switch over to that monitor. We're, do- we're doing a time it. check. Ah. Some of us has, wants to be responsible tonight, but whatever. I feel like Kenny's the, the class victoder, you know what I mean, that's sitting there and he like gets to read everything. Oh, yeah, because I'm special. You're awesome. Mom says I'm special. Are you ready? <laughs> All right. <so> check <laughs> it out. What is going on? <laughs> 
No more. Get the fuck out. Hey, it's too late. This bitch is half gone. You guys want to go down this road? We're already. No, you down. wanted to go hey, down, down road. this road. You're guys. in the car already, and we're fucking driving. All right. We're doing it. Live. Are we there yet? All right. So, uh, for those of you that have been with us from the beginning, um, this was one of our first episodes that we spoke on Monsanto's. Uh, Monsanto. Monsanto. Sorry, which reeks goes back yeah, to the first that episode. Yeah, that are. <laughs> where I just kept saying the name wrong the whole fucking time. For <laughs> it's embedded in him now. Right. All right, go ahead. Um, so they got uh, purchased by Bayer, which is a German pharmaceutical company. You know them because they make aspirin and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, turns and most out, people barely even noticed. Right. They, they also purchased. are like a large um, company for actual like soy products and stuff, which we went over that also. Yep. Uh, but a lot of agricultural stuff in India... Um, Venezuela, mm-hmm. Chile, Colombia, yeah, but their but Monsanto's known is known for their Roundup formula, and then they also have they do designer seeds. So mm-hmm. they got purchased corn, soy. What did we say? Cotton. It was for what seven hundred and something. Oh, million? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah that was it was a wild. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Large number they got purchased for. Well, it's been a headache for Bear, the parent company now, because they have over thirteen thousand lawsuits pending right now. Um, Fuck. The latest two that they've had, um, one was for eighty million. The one that originally kicked it all off, they gave the they awarded the guy two hundred fifty six million, but then they went back and reevaluated it, and it got dropped down to seventy eight million. Mm-hmm. And then there was another one where a gentleman also sued them, and he got eighty million. Well, this couple in California just recently sued them, and they were awarded two billion dollars in damages, and yeah, so. <laughs> The God company. fucking damn! Like, okay. what, what, so it was like two, two billion and like fifty-five million. What the fuck is worth two billion dollars? Um, so they're stating that their years of use has actually they both have terminal cancer, mm-hmm. so which yeah. is what we were talking about about that guy named Dwayne Johnson that we right. were joking about. Which, uh, yeah. yeah, he had cancer and stuff, and that was. But what the crazy thing is about him is he had a uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma, right. and he's now in remission right now. So, oh, which that's is, awesome. Which is cool, yeah. So you give back a little bit of money right. as you... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it's cool. Yeah. The crazy thing about that's this article is that. stating that Monsanto, like, didn't even want to, like, hear anything from the beginning about their product. They did no research claiming... Well, and, and the other thing is is that they have the government in their pockets, right? Because right. it's a corporation, yes. right, first off. So they have... All, and they have the, uh, what's it, the FDA and all that, like, saying that their shit's safe and... Which... This article says isn't true. They never did any scientific right. tests. Well, and then like, when any, also, what we were, uh, if I remember right, they were the ones turning over their own findings. Yeah. So, so they it, didn't do independent. So they hired a company mm-hmm. to make a list of any scientists in Europe or here in America that would come out and say we did tests and yes, it is causing. And they would basically make these people disappear. They would ruin their lives and careers right. and make them disappear. Yeah. So now there's been. Um, Basically, findings that, like, in their own internal reports that mm-hmm. the government investigated that, yeah, they knew the whole time that Roundup wasn't, like, safe. Even though they said, basically, that it was, like, eco-friendly, environment, organic. Yeah, because that was else. how they yeah. were marketing uh, Roundup before, right. that it was uh, environmentally friendly. Well, and it's just it was like green. Volkswagen. You know, that were, you know, I mean, they were falsifying all that, you know. Right. All their Crash stuff test? for their. But, uh, I mean. For, no, for their diesel no, cars. No, for their diesel oh. cars. But, I mean, tell me. I don't know anything about How it. many other. Oh, dude, that was big, you know, years ago, dude, where. It almost bankrupt Volkswagen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was big. You got you want to elaborate on it? So I basically, Volkswagen got found that they were cheating on their tests, saying that their cars were by like environmental friendly, and they were getting oh. kickbacks from the government for it. Oh, so for like their biodiesel cars and everything. And because then coming dude, to find out, it was like polluting twenty times worse than gasoline cars. Dude, Jeez. dude, you don't remember like ten years ago, fifteen years ago, dude? Like every. So basically, you know, if you had a biodiesel Volkswagen yes. or a diesel Vol- Volkswagen, they had it. No matter how long you had it. They had to give you back whatever you paid for. Oh, shit. Yeah, they Jesus. lost billions wow. of dollars. They Fuck. That's how they ended up having to sell off, like, because at that point in time. That was in America, correct? Yeah. Okay. F- well, and in Europe. Volkswagen okay. owned uh, Lamborghini and uh, Maserati. That's how they ended up selling those off branches, and that's why Ford separated also from Volkswagen. Hitler's all in hell, all pissed uh, off. Yeah, nine, man. nine, nine, nine. <laughs> <laughs> And the crazy thing is, Bear. I just wanted to help the world. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy thing is, Bear is also a German company. Yeah. 
Fuck. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. So basically, they what they were buying Monsanto for. Y'all was didn't for learn the, nothing after WW2. Nothing at all for the designer <laughs> part of like all of their uh, their vegetables and everything else that they were doing is kind of backfiring because they're not making the money up from the sell, and now they've lost billions of dollars more with still thirteen thousand lawsuits. Waiting yeah, to go through. and we and when we talked about, I don't know if you know much about them, but like we were talking about, like when they actually they have contracts on their seeds. So what happens is when they when you plant the crop at the end of the year when you're supposed to retill the soil and all that, they have to come in there and they have to collect all the seeds and take them and they count it. Yeah, and then they can go to other neighbors' properties and if something blue or birds or whatever grew, Carry they confiscate it right then away. They, they own can, your land. They can try. Well, they could. They like that's what they could push. Well, right? no. So they but so they, they were suing there and say they were using unlicensed right. seeds, bro. So they were suing all like the farmers in to take their land in like Venezuela, India, and everything. So they would go over in planes and just drop seeds. Episode everywhere. one, son. Yeah. So they would just go and just drop seeds everywhere. And then once the crops were going through, they would be like, oh, well, they would genetically test the crops and be like, oh, you have our seeds illegally. You don't have a contract with us. We're going to sue you for your land. Yeah, there's tons of good documentaries out there, too. Yeah. We, when we were researching for episode one, dude, there was like, what, like 10 of them that we watched? 10, and that yeah. was probably more. And we were all sharing, and me, you, and right. Chris were doing all this research, and we were sending them to each other, and it was like, yeah, it was dude, crazy. Like I watched crazy. That one I watched hours because it was interesting, too. Right. Like. They have like different like men in black guys that go around and test all the fields and shit. Like, yeah, they had them on film. And Dude, designer seeds right now is a fucking yeah. multi billion dollar industry. Yeah, well, and that's why they got purchased. Yep, and they but just work hand in hand with the government, and then all their same people that are employees of their fucking company end up going into the agricultural government positions and whatnot, and then they go back and forth. And that's, that's the fucking scary part yeah. about corporations and government is because those corporations can, uh, just keep like fucking grease and palms, yep. and then legislation either gets passed or doesn't get passed um, that supports whatever that corporation is trying to do. So it's like... It's this fucking circular... It's not free market. It's not yeah, capitalism. it's not at all. So here's the crazy thing. So normally when something like this happens and it comes out, then there's like a ban on it or they take it off the shelves. No, they just didn't took the organic name shit off of it and you can still go buy Roundup at your local hardware store or Yeah, because it was like false advertising right. is what they were just trying to implement. So they were like, oh, we're still going to sell our product. They didn't change product. anything. They just no. had to spend money on changing the label. No, right, but I'm yeah. saying they're still like, ah, fuck it, people. We're so yeah, <laughs> selling oh, product. Shit. Like, yeah, for sure. I yeah. know. Yep. Well, it's Monsanto, so. Pretty much. Yep. Anything uh, else you guys got to say about it? Fuck them. Mm, no? Yeah. It's just one of those things no. that just makes you disgusted when you look into it. Yeah, Evil I mean, this is. We, we pretty much, like, yeah, this is so much worse than it was on fucking EP1. Oh, we did yeah. a really good job, I think, covering it on EP1. Yeah. But. Uh, Go back. If you, if you want to know anything about it, just we just hit this up as a refresher course on like what was going on from episode one. Sorry, yeah. I wasn't talking to them. Yeah, mic. the second half on episode yeah. one. So just go back and watch that episode. We've also touched on it throughout other episodes too, just because we want to keep you updated on like what's going on with this shady ass corporation. Yeah, a couple times we have up. They're like black label. There like just the haven't been a story. lot of uh, stories lately about it though. Oh no, they have. They just keep them buried. Right. Like you actually have to. Like, yeah, they're be, not mainstream. Right. Like, you have to look for thing. it. Yeah, because they want to. You know, they're trying to now. Hematize you and get your mind well, off like, of that. Remember, to Chris, he like downloaded that one guy's fucking whole case, like right. that whole thing. Yeah. It was like, what the fuck? I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah. So, also to make sure you're getting your media source from different outlets and not just one. Yeah. Oh, all that's yeah. freaking control. That's so important, dude. You yeah. got to get different angles of the same story in order to and form check your the own fucking opinion. dates too before you guys yes. post this shit. I've run into that so much lately. Is like. Oh, this new story, and you see it, and you're like, oh, shit, that's crazy because of the new political climate, right? right? And then you look, and it's like, like 2015. 2015. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, bro, that doesn't even apply now, but if it right. did, it would be a whole different way. Like, it would apply differently. So, so check that shit, you the know? The crazy thing is I listen to, like, old school music, and, like, the there's a freaking uh, Al Green song mm -hmm. that was, like, back in the early 60s, the late 60s, early 70s, that that word for word, that still applies politically. Politi yeah. politically. politically to what's going on today. Mm -hmm. God damn it, Jamie. <laughs> Yo, dude, you fucking Hashtag asked for it. Lightweight. <laughs> you fucking asked for yeah. it. So, the I tallest mean, guy is the lightweight. Dude, Just I haven't drank in forever. Yeah. Sure. Fucking amateur. No. Whose fault is that? 
Yours. No. And it's yeah. Miller Highlight, bro. It's like that's it's uh, even the worse. Two two this times two times man. lately you missed <laughs> our, our uh, drinking training. Yeah, I'm glad Friday. I missed the last one. No, that was good. It was no. fun. No, it yeah. wasn't. Shout out to John. Yeah, John. Fucking drunk. Drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, John. <laughs> oh. Oh shit. I'll yeah. tell you off air. Oh, okay. okay. You caught yourself? Yeah. <laughs> you got another one? Self edit. Self edit. Sure. Hey, it's Those the, the best. best. Yeah. This is the best kind of edit. If yeah. not, yeah. Uh, if not, to... I'm going to be editing. So. And you don't want to, yeah. <laughs> I look at it. If <laughs> not, then I'm going to be editing. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, so we're good on uh, the Monsanto? Yes, Monsanto. All right. Yeah. All right, Jamie, go for it. Cool. So right before I break here, um, I just wanted to play this. This is, a, uh, I guess, uh, an attack chopper pilot. Got a hold of a fucking megaphone, and this is what happened. For common interest, perhaps it is fake, that today is the 4th of July. No, it's not! We again be fighting for our freedom. Not from tyranny, oppression, or persecution, but from annihilation. <laughs> and should we win the day? Independence Day. Today will no longer be remembered as an American holiday. But a day when the world declared in one voice. We will not go quietly into the night. We will not perish without a fight. We're going to live on. We're going to survive. The other guy's just like, I'm out of here. Frank's off his meds again. (laughs) Yeah! Nice. Oh, One God. of the dopest lines in a movie, dude. That's that, probably the best speech in a movie ever. Well, it was. that and then uh, Pacific Rim when freaking Idris Elba delivered the "We're canceling the apocalypse." Okay, that yeah. movie was gay. So, what opinion, bro? Pacific Rim was yeah. g- no. Horrible. Pacific Rim was fucking awesome. Horrible. Dude. The robots were awesome. Part bro, two was fucking gay. Yo, dude. Jax can go back to Sons of Anarchy. First off, that was just that was bro. before Sons of Anarchy. Dude, I'm not even talking about Sons. No. Dude, I'm not yeah, even talking about the actors. I'm talking Pacific about the giant Rim? robots. Dude, that was way after. That's how I knew who he was in there, dude. Dude, Pacific Rim was after. Yeah, we'll argue off screen. We don't need to argue, and I'm right. You come <laughs> back lumped up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> when we come back for the break, Johnny will have two black eyes. I got them right here. Uh, I know. On top of you. Oh, they said black eyes. I know. That's what I said. Oh, on top of me? Yeah. Eh, sandwich. I'm no. uncomfortable. He's <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. Yeah, it's too. funny when Kenny gets a buzz this cute. Yeah, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> we'll be All back right. after it's we spank that ass. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. I think it's a good enough time to take a break, huh? Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing shots. Let's go. (laughs) Get on my level. All right. Yeah. We'll we'll be right back. All right. We're back, Freedom Fighters, and... We all have shots. Yeah, so we're doing birthday shots in celebration of Aaron's and mine's birthday, and yep. also this is our first episode together. Yeah. So, salute, gentlemen. Cheers, Time boys. It. It's a celebration. It's, it's a, a celebra- celebration, bitches. And, and we're in oh. color. Right. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, and shit. It's it's yep. a triple whammy. All right. All right. Salute, gentlemen. Salute. Ooh. Oh, just like gasoline. Just like, oh, yeah. God. He's like, that's why I get caught. Just how I remember that shit. Ooh, it burns a little at the end there. That's that's not bad. So what yeah. is it called? That is actually uh, really so this fucking is good. Remy Martin VSOP. Ooh, it stays with you. Yeah. It's a lingerer. It's got like a licorice finish at the end. Yeah. yeah. It, that's I was like, it's familiar. It's almost like Jaeger at the end there. But, a little bit. But, but way but fucking the, better than Jaeger. But with so, the uh, whiskey kind of bite. Yeah, so they yeah. use these to make like liquid cocaines and uh, a bunch of different like. Bro, I got a drug use. test, Nick. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you might. Be no, liquid fucked. liquid cocaine is uh, Goldschlager, one fifty one, and Jaeger. So they just substitute that. Yeah, so most places don't have the one fifty one, so that these are similar in taste. They will substitute oh that for it, and then they upcharge you because fuck one fifty one, dude. It's yeah. Top shelf shit. The first time I ever drank 151, I did like seven shots of it, and then I projectile vomited a fucking pizza hot pocket all over my friend's bathroom. Just neon orange. So, yeah, first time I did uh, 151 in a park for a buddy's birthday. <laughs> and An appropriate setting. Yeah. <laughs> it was really bad, and um, yeah, throwing up everywhere, and yeah, that was like... 
20 years ago. Have you ever had a dirty snowshoe? <laughs> no, I, I Okay, I, so I, I, I dirty snowshoe abroad once. I cannot ever <laughs> say I have. Right. Can, so it's dirty one, Sanchez. So it's 151 Goldschlager, Evaclear. Oh god. Um Jaeger and what we just drank. You don't love yourself at that point. Dude, so why back, would you put that in your back body? When yeah. I was, <laughs> so back I hate when, me. back when I was working downtown for my 25th birthday, I had a party at the bar that I used to work at. I did 25 shots of that. Oh my, how are you not dead? Yo. You almost did. Yo, Those are, were you I, in a dark place? I almost died. Dude, no. that's like I was just celebrating because I was 25. In your 20s when you go through that destructive drinking phase, yeah. that's what that Ooh. shit is. Holy fuck. So, dude, I just His remember. Emo phase. Have you been there? Waking Destructive up. Destructive drinking phase? Uh, in between not my r- fucking well, probably, toilet yeah, but and my toilet. Yeah, uh, real quick. He's still there. I'm still there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's where I live. He, he lives currently. in his destructive So, in your phase. destructive drinking phase, what did you drink uh, if you had one? Whoever would like to go first. I started out drinking fucking Tangeray and orange juice in the big gulp cups. The Told you he's a diva. 32 ounce ones just because Jen and Juice. Did you like that. goblet it or? No, the big fucking. <laughs> out, and here it's my kebab. I can my kaba- picture, kaba- I can Yo, picture mm, him in his blimp, but, you know, but, with all the purple velvet. <laughs> and, and like. Here's the crazy part. I started drinking that fucking in high school. So I would be in class with a fucking 64 ounce big gulp class full of orange juice and tangaree. What are you sipping on? I wasn't sipping shit. I was slamming that shit. Gin and juice, though, and, straight up. And what part of town was this? Uh, this Oak is town, where I bro. lived in fucking Saratoga. <laughs> ah! So so the west part. <laughs> like, yeah. nicest shit. Yeah, because I remember yeah. uh, <laughs> me on the east side, dude, we were going to, like, the little, you know, liquor store, dude. You know, where, you know, it's like, hey, you're well, tall, dude. Go go buy us beer or go buy us what alcohol. Did, what did you drink? Oh, dude, I drank When you were whatever. self-destructive, if you had that. Ooh, from what years? I, that's what I'm asking. Like when you, if you were like really, you brought it up, so I just want, yeah, whatever. Oh, really destructive, dude. That's when I was like early 20s. Like I used to do like the chair of deaths. You guys ever have that? No. Yep. I yep. Just, yep. I don't yep. Know. yep. I like, like a barber, barber chair. chair. Yeah. Yeah. My destructive phase was going through bottles of Everclear. Oh, God. Mine was uh, just vodka, drink. bro. Yeah, mine was just bottles of fucking Everclear. I would drink like almost a whole fucking yeah. candle, no. bro. That and then absinthe. Like I, they're all bad. I I fucking partied hard, like. Late teens, early twenties, dude. Well, late teens and then early, you know, and a it's lot like of blow. After that, fucking just beer. Yeah, we'll talk to Jamie in about ten years and when he's right. out of it. Yeah, when I'm <laughs> out of it. <laughs> no, I feel like when when I was uh, younger, it would be it would be a lot of shots, a lot of I hard alcohol, when, when a lot I, of that kind of shit. And now, like when I I show up. If I'm somewhere, we're having a party or whatever, I'm like, I kind of want to stay conscious of the whole thing, so I'll just drink right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if it takes you Wait, what? Because a couple of years ago when I first met you, that was not the fucking case. What do you mean? Where I want to stay conscious of the whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> well, I just still just drink beer all night. I just don't drink as much hard alcohol anymore. Cause it, no, but like, I'm saying when, fucking... I, when I met you, you were on a hard alcohol kick. When... Are you sure? Yeah, a couple of years ago, bro. Yes. I, I believe you. I'm just saying, I feel like that was a long time ago. This is ago. why alcohol. He believes you, but he doesn't remember. <laughs> it it yeah. rots the brain. That sounds like, yeah. you know, I don't remember that, but that sounds like something I would do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My brain is like a sponge and alcohol. I will not argue with you on yeah. that. All right. I do. I feel like I go back and forth because every now and then, like, I still will buy, um, I'll buy like a bottle of scotch and then for a couple of nights, I'll just drink scotch. I, I personally, at this point, I like cruising on my fucking beer and having a shot here and there. I like that's kind of my. That's usually like, like if, if, I'm, if I go out oh, somewhere. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna rephrase my destructive phase. Uh oh. Because that was about two years ago. You're gonna rephase. Yeah, when I was in my destructive phase, that's when uh, the black operator was born. Oh. <laughs> black. Tell me about so, that. Yeah, black ops. Black ops. So black it was, ops. Technically, nope, it's nope. blackout ops. Yeah, and but <laughs> you <laughs> self named yourself the, the black, black operator. operator, and we're not bringing it up. We'll talk yeah, about that yeah. off. I called it drunk operator. Yeah, no. bad life okay. choices yeah, were sure. made. Bad. I like it. There's there's a I video enjoyed that time. There's a video of me doing Come fucking me, Kenny. mag changes <laughs> on uh, Instagram somewhere. Oh, uh, drunk ones. Yeah. Sweet. Like me and my buddy, like we're in we're in the bar at my dad's place, and like I put on my fucking plate carrier, and I was like, "Record this!" And I just started fucking <laughs> dumping mags, putting them in, dumping them. And he posted it up, and he's like, "Drunk, like drunk, it. and mag changes." And I was like, "Yeah, I like it." Fucking, it was clean too. Sweet, of course it is. Opera. Yeah, I made poor life choices too. Cho- <laughs> I think we all. Choices. <laughs> I think we all. Have poor life choices. 
Choose. <laughs> 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 that was funny. I'm like flashing back. Sure. Like, that's when we fucking started going. Do we? I, I thought we we're not talking about. We were you give this fool like, like nothing. And, uh, I was drinking every night. You weren't. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah. Nah. We're not. It's yeah, not a competition. Not this is, is not a competition. Oh, I'm not saying it was. I just know because I was out every night drinking. I was going through a little destructive phase. We uh, both were. <laughs> Forty year old fucking crisis, <laughs> like a bunch of old bitches. <laughs> it was. It was. I don't think it was. Yeah, maybe. I mean, you could say that. I think it was. I for me, I don't know what it was for you, but for me, I just didn't give a fuck. Well, I know why you, you know didn't give mean? a fuck. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So that was uh, all. Okay, we're not gonna go there. Yeah. Whatever. Let's moving on. Drinking. Is so, fun. did you yeah. guys have the midlife? Uh, you I, know, the whole thirty crisis thing. Mm, no, no. I, no. I couldn't afford a midlife crisis. Well, see, that's see, that's weird because I had the whole thirty crisis thing after I got over uh, that. The week before I turned thirty, I was freaking out a little bit. Yeah, but I didn't yeah. do anything. So for I my, was just wor- like nervous about it. Like, no, yeah. for oh my thirtieth birthday, I spent like probably. I want to say we spent upwards of like twenty eight grand or thirty grand for my thirtieth birthday. We ran out. A Jesus. Whole like yeah, fuck that. It was like a casino night, but, and the and no. the bad part is, but why? I, I only thing I remembered is just because I made at the time I was making fucking you shitload like, of fuck money. It. Yeah, I was like fuck. Honestly, it. me dude, I was just happy I got. That's like, the problem is people. The more money you make, the more money you spend. Right. Dude. If people were frugal when they made money, right, then I they'd was be so set happy. For life. Cause now yeah. I'm poor. <laughs> All right. And if you could you please, know, that's that's true. Could please support a starving <laughs> Negro. Honestly, hey, hey, that's true because honestly, dude. <laughs> Hey, I got into a run of, you know, let's say about 50 grand. And I tore through that in about a year. Yeah. But granted, dude, I mean, I put about eight grand, nine grand into my truck. I put about, I paid off all my bills, all that other shit, dude. You know what that's called? I got married. Nigga rich. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Niggas get money, dude. Yeah. And niggas that get Chappelle show? Niggas. Yo, no. That, that's what, a real thing, no, what, bro. What was that I Chappelle show? Yeah, 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 it was. Motherfuckers do not realize, dude. Where they got the rep- rep- reparations. Yeah. Niggas, dude. When niggas get money, dude. And it could be like 10 grand. It's and not niggas. black people. It's everyone. I've done the same thing. Nah. Get the fuck. You know what? It's just funny hey, to but say. But you count because you're. But you my nigga too. Oh, did I get yeah. my card today? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Because <laughs> you're the sand one, Jamie. Oh. Yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah, I got drafted. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jamie yeah. will get that money. It'll be invested in but some no, fucking really, tech I mean, company yeah, somewhere. Yeah. No, I did get that money, and I bought that fucking the neon. Oh. <laughs> so then, see, yeah, you are. So you everyone are, here, yeah, yeah. everyone is here nigga is rich. Yeah, exactly. No, I did it at. So I did mine. But it's mine not nigga. You know, you know what? It is nigga rich, but it's I like, caught an ur at the end of your little. Did you? Yeah. Just like That's why I'm looking at the white. Guy no, calling out the black guy. That's, well, yeah. Jamie's hey, just been uncomfortable yeah. this whole show. I, I, so I kind of caught it. That's why I'm looking at you. Like, wait, what did he just say, say? What I think he said. I say nigga a lot. No, but the, you kind of almost. He's like, what's her name? The, in, the one that has one percent whatever right. Indian. He is one percent whatever <laughs> white. white you know? Right, and, and that's what's coming up. out right yeah. now. Okay. So I, Uncle so Ruckus. <laughs> when I can I change the subject? When I went, no, no, no. I'm still talking about the the midlife crisis thing. I fucking, uh, when I was 25, that's what happened. And it's yeah. actually the quarter life crisis. And there's actually fucking legit documentation. On I like that how shit. he's bullshitting right now. And I, now. I bought a sports car. So <laughs> I, like it le- legit happened to yeah. me. <laughs> you bought a baby sports car. I thought I bought a baby <laughs> sports car. Yeah. Wait, 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 which, wait, I like it. Wait, wait, which, wait, wait. We're starting wait, wait. a GoFundMe page so we can bring that shit back to life. <laughs> I want it so wait. bad, dude. Oh, With a 32 hey, ounce I'm cup holder. about it. <laughs> so we'll talk off. Offline, I'm all about it. Wait, did he just say he bought a sports car? No, he bought a baby sports car. It is kind of a baby. Wait, sports wait, wait, car. wait. You just said you bought a sports car, and you guys just confirmed it was a Dodge Neon. Yes. No, but here's the thing, it's the <laughs> SRT8 four. SRT so, four, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not. It's not a regular. No, 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 no. I had a buddy with one. That that Hondas that, are cool. That's not a sports car. Okay. I'm with you. No, I, I won't argue. No. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. No, on, no. And but. we're back from the break, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> this has turned into a fucking shit show. Yeah, I wonder why, Kenny. I don't know what you're talking about. It's Captain our birthday Elgol. weekends up in this yeah. bitch. Right? It Let's is take shots. Shot. That is true. Let's take shots. That is true. Fuck it. Pour another yeah, one. All right, yeah. guys. Let's do this Did shit. Did you get another one? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Not right now. Oh, don't hype oh. me up. because no, you don't, know yeah, don't deck. taunt him. I'm always it's down. It's on deck, so. yeah. Oh, All right. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and do our shout-out. Shout-out, shout like gentlemen. Shout-out, gentlemen. You know Jamie, what? Jamie, go ahead and go first. You don't drink like that? When, I don't even when they're done talking. take shots like that. Oh, you will now. But why? I like beer. Welcome to the dark side. 
I was already here on the dark. No, you weren't. If you're talking about you, take shots. He's on the darkest side of the table right now. Not skin tone. No, I'm talking about Jamie because he likes the dark side of the force. What are you thinking, racist? All right. I'm always thinking racist. So Jamie's got shout outs. So start there. My normal shout outs are going to be for. What are you doing? You look um, weird on camera. Misty and Todd. Uh, We just went to their baby shower. Um, Ashley and Chase. Yeah. Valerie, of course. Um, Who joined us on our live stream. Yeah, that was Our testing. Yeah, testing, one, two, testies. Um, testing I, think, our I think that's all I have. Oh, uh, my buddy Kurt, if he's still watching, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, hopefully what he up, is. Kurt. Yeah, we got some, we got some like technology-related shit coming up in the next half, or this half here. Mm-hmm. Hopefully he'll like. Technology. Science, bro. It's good. You got shout-outs? Um, wife, son. Um, Mr. Danger. <laughs> wife, son. Um, Danger yeah, Mouse. A- <laughs> Trigger him. I just triggered him, so. He's trying to get shout out to his hey, wife. Trying it. <laughs> shout out to my wife. He's being t- serious. Yeah, and my son. That you know was like, Dad, are we gonna watch our favorite show? And I'm just like, Oh, buddy, I gotta go do the podcast. He saw. I gotta go talk about freedom. Wait, really? what, what's your guys' favorite show? Dude, honestly, dude, at this point, dude, we have like eight of them. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. I mean, we. I mean, dude, he puts on something. Dude, I sit there, I watch with him. That's dope. I mean, we, That's cool. Fuck it. I mean, I mean, because I mean, when you become a teenager, you're gonna want to kill him. Letting you know <laughs> oh, right trust now. me, I know. Trust me, dude. My uh, my oldest is 23. Yeah, and oh. he's a uh, you know at that doesn't you know we were at that I don't like you stage or I hate uh, you stage yeah, and all that happens. stuff, and now we're you know you know they I'm usually go through that in a cycle. Trying to build I, it. I'm still in that cycle, <laughs> but it's only with my daddy over here. That's why I want that. That. love it. Yeah, that's why I want that ass. It's, it, it's kind of weird that we don't have safe work. I'm uncomfortable. So. <laughs> we, we don't need <laughs> when blood is drawn is when we stop. Right. So shout out to Ian. He was he uh, stopped by on woo, our woo. live stream. What up, Ian? Jumped in real quick. Uh, let's see, Stephen, Stephen, John. That's who I, what I always say. Who else do we got? Uh, I felt like there was someone else. Oh, I already said it, but Joe. What up, Kenny? You got shout outs. Uh, shout out to Cat. Oh, nice. Yeah. Shout out to Kat. Haven't seen you in a minute, Kat. She never watches the show, so that's yeah. why I never give her a shout oh, out. My <laughs> bad. I haven't seen her in a while right. either. Yeah. Um, so I see her all the time. But yeah. Let's see. Who else watches the show? Shout out to uh, Chrissy. Shout- I don't know if you're still watching. Shout out to Jen. What up, Jen? Thanks what for up? supporting the channel. I think uh, I think Arlene might watch the show. Shout out no, to Arlene. Negative. I'm not sure. No, does she not? No, Joe's her brother that I give yeah. shout outs to Oh, okay, twice. cool. Uh, shout out to Corey. Yeah, what up? Oh. Corey. And he joined us on the uh, stream today. Corey Dose. Yeah. Right. Dude, I was honestly, like, are you dude? the one I know from Facebook? And he's like, yep. I'm all, what up, dude? Yeah, then, dude. Our, then our boy Danny also. Shout yeah. out Corey. to Danny. Oh, yeah. Corey, Danny. I'm going to go to visit. Dude, you live right around the way from my brother. I'm going to go visit you soon. Nice. I swear to God, dude. Me and you are going to get together. We're going to have some beers. We're going to fucking say fuck you to your neighbors. And we're going to have our yeah, own Yeah, they party. always play music hell loud and shit. They always play music. We're going to play he some fucking some page. whatever. Yeah. Dude, we're going to rage. Right on. Cool. Awesome. All right. Anyone else? Can you good? On the shout out. Uh, let's do. Oh. Let's do the ones we got on the board. Wait, there. really quick too. Also, shout out to my coworker Leandra, who's leaving. Uh, I just got her to start watching the podcast. Cool. So, but she's nice. leaving. So good luck in your new yeah. adventure. She can still Welcome. watch the podcast. Props. Props. Yeah, Welcome. definitely. Cool. Have, right have fun. Have fun. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah, you can. Uh, you can download it. We'd like to give a shout out to Libertarian Snake on IG. So check them out on uh, Instagram. Libertarian Snake, uh, withoutrulers.co on Instagram, and they both have uh, YouTube channels, and I'm not sure if Libertarian Snake does, but withoutrulers.co has a uh, Facebook, so check those out. And that and is his official website as well, if you type in withoutrulers.co. Yep. turns into the com. It will redirect you to his website. And don't get that confused with commies. Good stuff there. And also, yeah. shout out to brokenarmory.com. Yep, what up, if Mike? If you are looking for your 80% lower needs, check out brokenarmory.com. They have dope stuff on there, and you're supporting a local-owned business, and it's made here in America. Yeah. Which is pretty dope. Yes. Tons, really. Tons of cool yeah. shit. Yeah. It's local. Very yep. local. Very because local. I've been looking around for uh, lowers. Oh, yeah. don't well, go any further, brother. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, Broken we Armory. will talk. I am sold. Broken yeah. Armory. Yeah. You got Broken my business. Brokenarmory.com. Oh, man check it out good dude libertarian guy pretty dope dude. oh you got yeah. my business for sure yeah. buddy. Oh, that's how he gets me too because he knows oh. i'm a nosy little fuck i yeah. can't turn it down yeah. <laughs> all right stick so my fucking italian so beat what's where it happening mm, i uh, want to know jesus too. you nosy little 
nibbler. Right? <laughs> if you want to know what's going on, you're going to have to do shots with me, bruh. Oh, shit. Bruh. All right. So what do we got? We're going to go on a free talk here? Um, yeah. We've got – well, so uh, Danny actually oh, yeah. brought up something on the our last – Yeah, on our live stream. Mm-hmm. And he brought up uh, something called Starlink. Which is pretty dope. So check it out. If you don't subscribe, please subscribe because you will miss stuff like what happened today. So if you're not subscribed and you don't have the notification, you wouldn't have got notified that uh, earlier live stream. they were live streaming. Yeah. It was our first live stream and we were testing it, it, it out. It was Amazing awesome. this happened. Yeah. There's going to be more. But yeah. But Amazing saying, this but, happened right now. But if, you you're, know, earlier if you're not you subscribed, it. you won't know about the dope yeah. stuff that happened. Did because you know that uh, Iron Man runs this? It's uh, Tony Starlink. Oh, okay. It's not Tony Stink, is it? No, this is all for Jamie. Oh. That was all for Jamie. Do me a favor. That wasn't no. even for anyone right. else. I fucking but hate you, Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all, but don't, I, don't. I tried to help out. Yeah, yeah. don't. I just ignored everything Aaron, else yeah. I'm looking at. Don't fucking. co-sign Johnny's stuff. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We don't I'm still I'm still the new guy. I'm That's still all, learning. It's all, it's all good, bro. He's trying to. Dude. He, he's trying to. That was all you. for, it was just straight okay. for Jamie. Right Let's now. talk about Starling here for a second. So yeah. what should you my know. reaction be to that? Should I be like. I am Iron Man. Black Sabbath. Did sure. Iron Man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So Starlink, what it is, it is uh, it's uh, made by SpaceX. So ultimately, uh, Elon Musk, right? And it is going to be a network of satellites that's going to provide free uh, internet, basically around the globe. Um, it doesn't really say like how fast this internet's going to be, but they said they can take up to uh, like fifty percent of infrastructure uh, internet service and then up to like 10 percent of the global traffic of the internet so it's going to take up uh it can it has enough bandwidth to be used a lot um but in my experience satellite internet like at least the ones that we have around here the um i'll get a little technical on it for a second there and it's weird because the satellite tvs it, it's so hard to change the channel when they're up that high and they're like in orbit right i mean it's pretty fucking difficult the remotes need like a booster or something right yeah, it needs an IR booster <laughs> to be able to reach out that far. Um, oh, it's a Starlink, huh? Yeah, so you can buy hey, but, yeah, Tony did you, Starlink. Did you see yeah. here on here that it's saying that he's going to sell like stuff to, for like to be used for the military? Oh, that's always what Tony uh, does. Uh, exploration, mm-hmm. exploratory. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've seen all the Iron Mans, bro, and the Avengers. Fucking hate That's you. what he does. So fucking hate He <laughs> blows up the tank, and the first one is like, boom. You know what I mean? Like, oh. just like no. Yeah. Okay. I hate you. So my concern is <laughs> that the uh, throughput speeds mm-hmm. are not going to be uh, fast enough to be uh, usable um, because as it stands right now, most satellite internet companies, you get between like three and five megabits. Um, and that's like not even enough to stream something in high def. So to make a satellite network around the world that anyone right. can be on, I don't understand how you're going to get the fucking bandwidth to be able to do anything on it. But... I'm hoping that it comes out as something that's pretty fucking cool. You know, mm, yeah. we'll see how it goes. And the three megabits, it could just be depending on how big of something he's eating, right? That's yeah. Because like, if it's a megabyte exactly. of a huge sandwich, like a subway, like you know, a me- three yeah, footer, one megabyte, yeah, yeah, but, then but that might not be enough. But, but if it's a, just a regular is sandwich, smaller, yeah, then three, yeah, well, yeah. I fucking. Hate and then there's just the bites, right? A bite a is even smaller. smaller. Do you guys know what's smaller than a megabit? Bite? What? <laughs> Do you guys know what's smaller than a bite? No. How are you guys Jeez, even going nibble. down this? A nibble. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nibble. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie's such a nibbler. <laughs> oh, man. This show is awesome. We're having a good And it's not even a five or a zero at the end of the show. Yeah, I don't know That's how we g- fucked this pig. You, no, because we... <laughs> we should have just made it 40. Right, but... <laughs> like, we, what happened to the other three? I don't know. We was hey, shit because show. we slept on... Like two, well, we did. Two of them, yeah. Well, we so we had to make up for it. Yeah. yeah. Sure. We'd probably so, be on 50. Right. Probably right but, you now. know. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Niggas being niggas. Sure. <laughs> it is what it is, bro. <laughs> you know, science. <laughs> Jamie is like. <laughs> Dude, editing this show is going to be interesting. So whatever is in the final cut is going to be interesting what I felt was okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> I just seen Jamie just look off like, the show's going to be 10 minutes mm. long. The show's going to be like beep. literally 10 minutes long. And then long. I was, beep. Right. Yeah. And then it's going to be all clink, clink, and yeah. then just a yeah. shot, yeah. and then it's like, all right, sure. good night, yeah. folks. Yeah, have a good <laughs> one. Boops. 
right, <laughs> where are we at now? We just Jamie? have like freaking. Uh, you know uh, what? Oh, we're still on the store. Does even? Yeah, does even really matter? Nah, yeah, does. We can just have honey badgers just like fighting each other. Uh, oh, the green, uh, the green. What is it? The the solar panel things, right? Yeah, their windows or glass, right? <laughs> yes. So same company. We talked about this in the stream a little bit. Mm-hmm. Oh, either, but they're solar oh. panels that are basically glass window type so things that so you can replace it, them out. So what he's gonna do is, he has a factory that's in Nevada that he's gonna use to produce these, and basically it'll be, uh, it'll replace like office building glass. So yeah, then you exactly. can use it to generate power for your, for your building. building yeah. yeah. So they're basically right now the size that they have are the like little tiles that they're uh using. They haven't like applied it to like actual like large scale stuff. Right. Um it was basically uh something that a student came up with at uh MSU, which is Michigan which is State. Fucking University. Awesome. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty, pretty fucking cool. badass yeah. is what Think it is. Think of everyone's windows or solar panels. How badass. Dude. Fuck you, PG&E. Bye-bye, PG&E. Yeah. Yeah. No, but they would end up doing their whole bullshit where it has to go back into the grid. They're gonna, no, they're going to tax you and they're yeah. going to... They'll have some thing no, where so they... it'll be just like you have solar power yeah. now, right, that generates. Yeah. Nope, so, it goes back into the grid. But you guys get paid for that. Yeah, mm, No, well, you don't get paid for it's it. Only, you but get, they still get taxed, if you have, If you're not Hold using on. it all. Hold, yeah, you get money subtracted off your bill is right. what it is. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So but you're event- still paying for shit because yeah. But eventually, with this though, if you have enough of them, that government, they will, bro, they will probably have to pay you. Well, it's We're just t- what will end up happening is government will say, but, what, which is what PG&E is doing now, right? How they're like, oh, well, we need to have this. You know what I mean? It'll just always come back to when people say that the corporations and the and the government aren't working together, they need to get their head examined because it's right. always what ends up happening. But is they he, itch each other's the thing back right now. Kind of government is upset with PG&E. Well, sure. Yeah, bull- I'm calling bullshit on that. I don't. Well, I don't believe that at all. Fuck the government and fuck PG&E. Right. I, I'm all for it that. Should be all self sufficient shit, dude. Like that's what we were talking about on one of the podcasts too. Is that like you get punished to do anything? Like, oh what yeah. They, what they've been talking about for years is like we should have our own in house uh, power or water or whatever. Well, right? right now you can but go you to get jail taxed. for collecting exactly. rainwater. Dude, dude you've seen states, that? Do yeah. there's do there's certain states where mm-hmm. you and all you're doing is just collecting rainwater and what they say is well it goes to what you know dude what no, unpasteurized that, milk are you yeah. goddamn kidding me dude but there was like, that guy in like, florida okay. or something that was collecting the rainwater right. to wash you know uh he owned a dealership and he was washing his cars and they said you can't do that right yeah and they have wash days that you can wash but first of all human beings shouldn't be drinking milk anyways hey well, sure i'll that's tell you a whole this much thing, but I did it have, doesn't matter it's not the government's job right last uh mean? last christmas um i had some Eggnog milk. that was made with unpasteurized milk, and it was let to sit since the previous Christmas. So it was let sit for a year, refrigerated, right? Dude, that shit was fucking bomb. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, really? and you could say that you know we're not supposed to be drinking alcohol or anything else too, right? So it's it's up yeah. to the individual what they put in their body. It's not the government's choice. Yeah, don't just fucking like don't the abortion me, issue. Yes. Oh yeah. Segway. Christ. That was a nice segue. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, fucking talk <laughs> let's about Let's go ahead and bullshit. dig our grip. <laughs> yeah, here we go. All right, rip, guys, rip. Nail in the coffin. All okay, right, so, give us a rundown here, Jamie. Yeah, okay, so Alabama and various other states, what they've done is they went ahead and passed legislation. Other than fuck their cousins. Yes. Yeah, continue. Oh, hey, would you look at that? You can, like, see through the, the thing. Yeah, I That's saw that from cool. the beginning. I was like, what the fuck? I didn't realize it was. Yeah, yeah anyway. Yeah. Um, what they did is they ma- they passed legislation that makes it so that legislation. So I had trouble saying that. There I feel like, like alcohol is playing a factor in the show. Um, they passed it so that the people who give the abortion, so the doctor, right, mm-hmm. will become felons for performing an abortion. Right. So there there is no um, exception for rape or for incest. They are it's disgusting. Th- in yeah. there, a couple other states have uh, some clauses or whatever exceptions yeah. for if it has to do with uh, the mother's health, right? And even even so far in the other ones too, they're saying that like you can't do it after a um, a, a fetal heartbeat is detected, right. which is usually in about the six weeks. Which I don't understand why time. they would want to. P- well, it's because it's the Bible built retarded. Here's, nonsense. here's my whole but thing. But like, hold on, hold on. That what I think is crazy about that is that like most people that are pro life would even say it's okay to abort the baby if the mother's health is in danger or something like that. Like I, I right. don't understand why it's so extreme other than the Bible built kind of answer. 
Yeah. I'm like, that's the only thing Here I can think. Here is my now, go ahead. thing. Your government. Why the hell are you pushing your beliefs on me? Well, yeah, exactly. You have no right to push your hippy-dippy Bible beliefs on me whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Like, it's my body. I own my body. Because you believe in some deity or figure mm-hmm. or whatever it is that you're bringing that into law and yeah. state and church are supposed to be separate, but they're property not. rights, bro. Yeah, they well, go and hand they, in hand, and, and they straight so up bullshit. Like in this article, say that sh- the governor invokes God. Yeah, like so it's so it is a hundred percent not separation of church and state, and it's a hundred percent control. It's just another right. thing that they can keep you from doing uh, for bogus reasons in my opinion like if you want to if you want to be religious and believe in religion fine but this is an example of people who believe in religion forcing those views on other people right and here's the other thing now you can be pro-life but be against this right absolutely so that's what we talk about all the time is as long as the government is not forcing you or anyone forcing you to do whatever right you can be completely pro-life or well pro-choice right pro-choice no pro-life well because these guys are pro-life yeah no but uh, Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes, yeah, totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally wrong. Good. Sorry. We you know can be totally shot. pro it's cho- okay. No, it was not that. <laughs> but you can you can totally be pro choice. No, I think you just made me screw up what I was gonna say, actually. No, no, you so you can be pro choice right. and still be against this. Right. Because it that's a it's a because these a guys are pro life. Like, right. So these guys no, are saying I, I understand the bill, but you lot made me lose my train of thought. I actually was going somewhere with it, but that's all. I'm it, sorry. It, no. Totally cool. I'm just saying, like, I was there was something I was going to say so about being pro-life. This is so coming down to like what we talked about earlier before we had the camera rolling. It's like uh, I consider myself uh, pro-choice, right? So the thing is, though, is that like I I honestly hope that I'm never put in a situation where I have to help make that decision, right? But I also don't want to get in anyone else's way of them making that decision because it's none of my fucking business what they do. So it's so I consider myself pro-choice, although I hope that I never have to do anything like that or, or you know be put in a, a position right. where I have to make that decision. But I also don't want to get in the way of anyone else making that decision because that's up to them. That's your thing that you got to deal with, and I don't have any fucking say in that. Yep, yeah, I agree. Because this Aaron, opens a thoughts? whole new can of worms. You can have dissent. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I mean, it's it's just weird because on you know on one hand, I I know a you know a girl who was. You know who was raped, who had the kid, and she loves him to death. I mean, the you know but the kid is amazing, right? But that know, would be her she, choice, yeah, right? She, yeah, that was her choice. Exactly. And but it's like you know, in those circumstances where it wasn't, you know, you know, consensual, then yeah, go, you know, then yeah, that you know that does fall in play, you know. But if you know, if it was out of your you know your hands, you can't just sit there and say, well, I had a drunken night of sex and. I don't want this baby. But why? But that's irresponsible. Totally. I agree with that but statement I mean, 100%. You know what? You yeah. Would, but who, it, here's but here the thing is, is, are you going to have government come in and... Uh, no, no. Yeah. So no, that's the thing. You know what? But you're right. Morally, you, I think. You go do what you want to do, but underneath it all, yeah. it's... Yeah. I mean, yeah, if you're going to be irresponsible... You just, have to answer for everything you do in yeah. your life. I'm yeah. not going to judge you. Right. I'm not, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's whatever. I'm going to look at you a different way. I'm gonna have sure. to look at you a different way, but, but then I'm just you. But, you are responsible for what? your own That's shit. That's your choice, yeah. right? So you have a choice. Yeah. These people don't have a choice. Well, the problem is they're is making that they're criminalizing you having a choice to do what you want with your body. Well, dude, anytime these guys come in and tell you what you're gonna do is fucking bullshit. Right. But, that, and but, that's the underlying but, issue of this yeah, whole but entire thing. What I'm saying thing. is, I mean, but what I'm saying is, there's like. You know, there's instances where it's like, well, okay, that's cool. But what they're saying is, oh, no, you can't do that. It's like, right. but, you know, shut the fuck up, dude. You don't know what's going on. Right. And that's, that's and that's Anytime what Anytime the government comes in, it's wrong. And it gets yeah. fucked up. Mind you, California. It's San Jose first off, it's wrong. A bill for 500 and something million dollars for roads. And the roads around here are shit. All taxation is theft. All dude, government I is drive forced. around on these roads yeah. all Easy day answer. in San in, you know, and they're bullshit, dude. I oh, swear yeah. to God, there's potholes everywhere. Potholes everywhere, dude. Yeah, you so see? just another example of the state not doing what it's fucking supposed to and being a piece of fucking shit yeah. and a waste of time. <laughs> another thing I seen today on the light rail was um, a sign that said, 
please clean up after yourself. Your tax dollars okay, are at work. So I remember what I was going to say before I lost my train of thought. So you can be, is what I was saying, was you can be a pro-life person. Mm -hmm. However, exactly what I was saying was you can still be for abortion. So right. there's, there's the, and what, the way I mean by that is like, hey, my morals are I don't believe that you should take out the baby, but I still believe that it's individuals' rights to be able to do that. Other individuals. I'm not going to control anyone. Like, no one made you God, right? No one controlled you. Like, to you know, no one should be controlling you, I mean. Like, th that that's not your responsibility. Basically, it comes down to power-tripping control freaks and, uh, you know, everyone that votes for all that crap. It's, yeah, you guys so are, you know, you guys are just feeding into that. voters in November agreed to write the anti-abortion language. Right, and, but, and then you go into California, it's the opposite. Right. And it's yeah. just like... I mean, they're in Alabama. It, it doesn't, you know, when, you don't need to be making this even a fucking matter of a government at no. all. Whether we think the government should be there or not, right. this shouldn't even have nothing to do with it. Just like you shouldn't have government involved in marriage at all, or anyone's sex oh, lives, yo, or anyone's sex acts, or anything like that. that. It's not the government's job to be in, 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 uh, responsible for your body, you know, it's weird. and you put them in charge of your health or the and your health care. in charge of your children and how you raise your mm -hmm. fucking children, man. Like, mm -hmm. seriously. Oh, but public schools, you're okay. Mm -mm. Yeah. That's what all your fucking libertarian buddies, not you guys, but I mean, like, like the ones that are running for office, right? Like, oh, vote libertarian. Well, why? They're all for the schools. Almost all of them are, dude. Yeah, and that's you know still I mean? fucking but that's a way to statism, worse. bro. Yeah. No, that's a way to brainwash your kids into that's believing what they believe. All they do yeah. is infiltrate your schools and your media and everything. Prime example. And you're just raised that Where way your whole life. Where were you in school when you heard anything about the Moors? Nowhere. Nowhere. So you know, Kenny wasn't here when we, uh, when I, uh, when we were talking about the, my son's citation. Remember he got from school and you yeah know, and yeah I was yeah. About Kenny wasn't here on that one. Tell him that. Yeah. So my son got a citation for not freezing during the freeze bell during recess. Recess, bro. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's crazy. And then on the top of the so uh, well, well, and on the top of the uh, referral, it said so and so school where good students become good citizens. Oh, just backing up everything we just said. Fucking and that just fucking set off that fucking... And it's like, dude, so what you're saying is... Yo. My kid... I give you props. <laughs> for not killing someone. For not burning that fucking <laughs> Honestly, school to the to ground, bro. But, uh, dude, my thing is, dude, I've never been a fan of school. Right. I've sure. all, Dude, I've always been, you know... Dude, ask my... Ask, ask, dude, ask Justin. Ask my brother. Right. You, Dude, and don't edit it that, please. Ask him. Right. He will tell you straight up, dude. Aaron used to get in trouble so much. This is not, dude. I hated school. Same. Right. School is fucking horrible, dude. Because why? I got to sit there and remember this bullshit that doesn't apply to me, dude. I did good in you know in subjects that I loved, like English and right. science and art and all Chinese that other stuff. Chinese checkers. And that too. I love Chinese checkers, bro. And solitaire. And sure. You know. Sure. But Yo. I mean, so to like add to that, I remember getting called into my counselor's uh, office in college because I got in an argument with my history teacher, and he was like, if you think you can do it better, then you teach a class. And I taught the class and did a better <laughs> job than he did, and he kicked me out of his class nice. for it. Well, because he's there for a paycheck, dude. Right, fucking half exactly. the time, dude, these fucking these college professors just go in there and they – this is how I uh, feel. Well, the college thing's a whole nother thing, but like Ooh. that that's a whole nother thing. But yeah, the actual like elementary through high school, they're definitely like on the the fucking payroll of government, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where the colleges, yeah, they all come from that, so they're a product right. of that. I get it. But let's let's get back a little bit back on track with this whole thing. So Jamie, did you have a kind of a a, a conclusion with this thing? Because I know that you ha you said you had a lot of stuff to say about it, but well, I just, okay, I'm not so, putting you on the spot. I'm just, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Um, one of the th so it, it breaks my heart to see that this this governor that this this picture that she's a, a woman, and it like it sort of it sort of breaks my heart that statists are all different sexes. Yeah, bro. that there are, I know, but that there are uh, women that would be for this, literally taking the power away from women to decide what happens to their own body. I don't think there's any room for men at all to cast any well, type of legislation about the female body. Okay, so I, I just want to say one thing. So I agree with what you said, ultimately. But what I would say is, look how many women are pro-life. So it's not that surprising, right? Like, that's right. the way it gets portrayed on social media. And like, I, I oh, it's only white males making these decisions. Well, 
No, it's not. It's not. Uh, no, I know that's how it gets I mean, portrayed. today, that's all I saw on there. Now, I'm totally against this every way. Yeah. But I also have a problem with everyone like, well, it's a good woman's choice. Well, okay, I also got to say, how come you women don't say shit when it's any other thing that the state does? Now, I'm not talking about men. I'm talking about people, everyone. Like, whenever the state regulates anything that you put in your body, you have no fucking problem with that. But now taking a baby out of your body, now you have a pro- problem with that, like whether you can or can't. Like, so I have a fucking problem with that where it's like, oh, let's regulate alcohol. Let's regulate this. Let's regulate drugs. Let's, there's always something that you guys have a problem with that, but I don't hear anything about that. So why is this all a big deal? So Hot button it's issue. A, it's yeah. a pick and choose. Yeah. yeah. It's, like it's, today I'm going to be up in arms because it's about abortion, but you telling me the like. government should have nothing to do or make you do anything. That's the bottom line. It's they should have nothing to do with it. Like so it's your body. It's people your life. Don't understand that. Like our founding fathers wanted government to be a minuscule type thing in the background. Right. Yeah. Not. Well, yeah. Not this monster that it is today, where it's controlling every yeah. fucking thing you do. Man. Anytime you hear that legislation got passed or a bill got sent to somewhere or something yep. got approved, you should be up in fucking arms about it because that's what being a fucking freedom fighter is. Mm-hmm. Anytime you see anybody trying to control any aspect of anyone's life, right. you should have a fucking problem with it. Yeah, the responsibility comes down to the individual, you. You, you, you. Like, you make your own decisions. You do not need a collective, a government, to control you and point a gun at you if you do not comply with what the majority... It's all about majority rule, right? Like, that's what it is. When you guys vote for it, or you even put these people in charge, and then they just go about it and do it, you still put them there, right? So you're still going by majority rule. Obviously, in Alabama, you're going to have a, right, a right-leaning right state, right? right. California, you have a left-leaning, left-leaning state. state. Still, right. the majority put them there, right? So it's still mob rule. And so we don't want that. We're, we're all about individualism, voluntary, right? So there's nothing voluntary about it. Now, if you believe in pro-life and you think that it's killing a baby, well, that's your own choice, right? Like, yeah. I can't control what is in someone else's body. And if you are for anti-government or no state involvement in people's lives, if you're a minarchist type person, then you should not want, you, you should not want this either. Like that's it's it's completely detrimental to what you want as being freedom your first goal. Like it's yeah. just it's 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 installing statism. It's an authoritarianism. It is, and it's uh, all, like ultimately it's leave us the fuck alone. Yeah, and you shouldn't if you don't like it, then you have your campaigns and you talk about why it's killing babies and you you do your whole spiel about whatever it is. Right, mm-hmm. you you have the right to do that. Do it. So, but the objective of that is just to change people's minds, sure. not to not to force have legislation put in place so that yeah. it's that it's a it's law. Not voluntary. Legal, that yeah, it makes you a criminal. It criminalizes the action right uh, right and it's right. and that's what we're saying is stupid right like so if if you uh want abortion to be not around anymore your objective should not be to make it illegal your objective should be to campaign to change people's minds yeah that's shame the em. only Who thing shit, right that's the only thing it should right. be you shouldn't you should not have the you should not want the government to come in and make it illegal for something somebody to do something that's ridiculous yeah because it always turns into something exact else argument i had today at lunch to the point where I got so mad, I just had to. I'm like, why am I sitting here? It's like sad to see people that are not basically they don't not to it. use a term, not to be woke to like what the fuck is going on because you're just going along with it because that's what you were so told. So I when you think were younger. there's like two different versions of it. So there's one that's like woke, like where people actually understand and know, like Federal Reserve. Uh, they understand like uh, voting is fraudulent, like things like that, right? Or they know like things about uh, different secret societies, or they know like how bankers are manipulating money, whatever, right? Like they, that that's a form of being woke, I would say. Like the there's Democrats and Republicans and Independents and Libertarians that are woke. There's a different kind that I like to call myself more is someone that's philosophy based, and right. I like to have the right and wrongs where. I just hear the story and I go, nope, don't want it. Like, I don't even have to hear the whole thing. I just know immediately, well, government passed a law. Don't care if it's good or bad, if it, if, if it fits my morals or not. Yeah. Because ultimately it's bad because it's using force through threat of a gun or imprisonment to employ it, right? So yep. it's wrong. 
So I'm being the most it, when, when I, I give you guys my opinions at home, I'm trying to be the most logical and consistent, even if I don't agree with every single thing that I promote in the sense of, like I said, like I lean slightly more towards pro-life. I lean that way. Mm-hmm. However, this is completely disgusting and no one should ever tell anyone what to do with their own body. Right. Well, so so that's right. the way I stand on it. And I agree with you. And it's it's it's, it's that the ability person's choice, it's, the individual. Fuck the women. It's the individual's choice, not just women. That's the problem that they got. That everyone at home is they, they, they has seen all the posts today, right? That's what the, that's getting missed in this whole thing. It is all the individual, and that's that's going to be what gets our show kicked off YouTube. It's just going to be like clip of you saying <laughs> "fuck <laughs> the women." <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I've said worse. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, uh, I think uh, so. Objectivity is a word that I like to use because if you if you take an issue and you do remove all of your emotions from it, and you look at it with some objectivity, um, it, it really, you are able to break down whether or not that is right or wrong and whether or not it aligns with your morals. So this does not align with my morals. Sure. Straight up. I mean, that's it's easy as I can yeah, say. Yeah, because sometimes laws will come up, and you're just like, oh, I want to ban guns. No, that's completely bad, right? Like, mm-hmm. you're going to obviously say that. Well, then there's other ones where it's like, well, meth is illegal. Well, meth is bad, so, you know, I mean, maybe. Well, if you think that it's bad, don't do it. Tell exactly. everyone you know not to do it. But when you put government there with agents that enforce this, now it turns into a whole other thing. And we could also have that argument that meth would never exist if there was no drug war. There's also that. There's that. That's that's a whole other rabbit hole, right? Sure. Thank, thank so there's that, another so. thing too that, like, I also on the other side, even if uh, there's that one state that wanted to make an, uh, owning an AR-15 mandatory, right? Don't want that. Yep. We talked about that on the show. That's we fucking against government. Yep. Like, it's you don't, don't don't boss me, bro. Yeah. Fucking don't tell me what to do. Yep. I mean, I'm going to have one, but don't tell me what <laughs> tell me that I have to. You know what I mean? Like, I fuck. mean, I'll take your free one, too. I mean, <laughs> I, mean if you, I mean, if you're handing them out, yeah, whatever. No, it w- I think what, if I remember right, it was like you buy it and then you get like some kind of write-off or something. I don't know what it was. So it's been a while. It's still bullshit. So no, yeah, absolutely. AR-15? I mean, is it AK, Sukong? No, I don't, no, I, I don't remember. I think it was, no. just, I think it was just the up. AR in the article. Hashtag look it up. Yeah, mm-hmm. hashtag look it up. So, yeah. so We're just against it. So just the American-based mm-hmm. And the same thing. Remember, uh, Jamie, we were also talking about the gun ranges the government was going to start putting out oh. against it. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, because they, they wanted more gun ranges. Yeah, exactly. Is theft, bro. Yeah. Fuck that, dude. So there could be things that you guys like, but you got to be against it if you're being philosophy-based, right? Oh, yeah. the whole thing is fucking horrible. Like, it's not interesting to me at all. Like, I don't like it. And yeah. I personally can tell you, I don't care. What I care about is somebody telling me what I can and cannot right. do. That's where it all comes down to. To sum up all the stuff we were talking, whatever, don't boss me. Stay the fuck out of my business. It's about the individual, and that's it. Pretty much. Freedom, bro. Right. Freedom first. It's in the title. Fucking read it. <laughs> all right, no, Jamie, it, where are we at? It's our mantra. Ooh. So, uh, I pretty I think the last like story that we had, um, I wanted to get into was we got this this article here that says America doesn't actually lead the world in mass shootings. Now, I know mass shootings is is like a very, it's a hot button issue for oh, everybody yeah. because anytime that it happens, there's a massive loss of life and it's a terrible tragedy. Um, the reason why we always talk about mass shootings is because immediately following regulation. usually some sort of regulation around firearms. Some sort of bullshit happens. Um, what this article brought up was that when Obama said that we led the world in mass shootings, um, I think uh, s- there there was somebody in his cabinet or somebody in his campaign, whatever, they tried to say that it was because we possess so many firearms yeah. as Americans. And he cited this uh, uh, paper that was at the time unpublished by a guy who will not turn over any of the evidence that shows his work and coming to the conclusion that we have the highest rate of mass shootings while having the lowest percent of population. So it's, it, who knows, like basically the whole thing is bullshit. This guy uh, cherry picked the information that fit his narrative. That's and what then, they always do. The politicians always pick whoever, just like the Monsanto thing we were talking about, about testing their stuff. Yeah. So, so same kind of concept. Yeah, so it's it's always like they're always trying to push their agenda forward, right? Always, they so, always are. It's always fucking. Uh, see, well, that, getting this, back to the first story, right? The David Hogg thing. That's all he's doing. He's a mouthpiece, a puppet, 
that doesn't know what he's fu- he doesn't know his ass from a hole in the ground, and he's yeah. fucking talking about firearms, <laughs> and that's why he put that tweet out or about the whole. About oh dad. my dad had a yeah. fucking. I gun. love that fucking expression, by uh-huh. the way. That's like one of my favorite I've ones. Used that on <laughs> it's yet. a good one. Yeah, but I mean, you know what I mean? Like that. It's literally the same thing. You're just taking someone because he's in the spotlight. Or you're yeah. taking a situation that's in the spotlight, and it just so happened David Hogg was part of that situation, right. but, or injected himself into that situation. But like, it's the same fucking thing. But it's like, funny. They're always using. We it. still hear from him, but not his friend. Yeah. Well, the boy. Yeah, the bald little guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. the caveman, bro. Fuck. Fuck him. David Hogg, dude. <laughs> yeah, Jesus well, Christ. Him. All right. Well, that's good to kind of bring it up real quick. Is our yeah? Last I just wanted to bring it up that like yeah. the we don't actually lead the world. If you if you get some of the data, um, it's uh, on this article here. You can you just look. Go it up. Pop it, actually, look just it up. pop it up on the screen because they didn't get to see it real fast, and just so they can see the uh, the headline, like who makes it. Yeah. Right, so here, yeah. Here it is right here. So if you guys are interested or whatever, and you want to look it up, this is the uh, source, and this is where we were at. And you see the website and whatnot. Yeah. So just check that out, um, because it's it goes it goes down into Jot it down if you will. extrapolating some data that talks about. That it, you know, it isn't actually. Um, if you look at the percentages of like population-wise, and then the actual like what what you consider to be a mass shooting versus not, like there's a bunch of bullshit. There's a lot of stuff in that article that's really good. That I don't want to go over, but basically, right. yeah, because we can, don't lead the fucking world no, of mass shootings, and they consider anything four people or more a mass shooting. Yeah, I thought it was even three or more. I thought or something nah, like, it's that. like four, four or more. Four or more people. Yeah. They consider so it could be gang shooting. violence, and yeah. then they're gonna call that a mass. Yeah, shit. so that right. shit that happens every day, several times a day in Chicago, like fucking. Then we have all these. Oh, fucking but mass you see, shootings. they don't cover that whatsoever. Oh yeah, they, they don't fit want to their cover. narrative exactly yeah. because they've yeah. implemented that system, and that's what they want to eradicate the people of Chicago. Yeah, it's basically. all it's yeah. it's fucking. It's stupid. They want to take the power out of the individual's hand is what it is. It always, it's always just like with the abortion issue. It's the same thing. They want to take the power out of your hands and give it to only them. So right. they have the monopoly on force, not the people. Horrible. Yep. Just fucking horrible. All right. Can you tell uh, all, right, every, people, all the Freedom so Fighters where they can sure find you us? you can uh, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, SoundCloud, Pornhub, and Patreon. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button on the YouTube. Hit the bell notification on the YouTube yep. so you can get updates. We're we gonna start streaming, doing streaming live, so mm-hmm. you can interact with us. Which today was pretty dope. I was a participant. Yeah. We'll in probably that. we'll probably have a, a, a stream on Mondays, right. and then the podcast will probably be released on Tuesdays from now on because we actually have a schedule lockdown. So it'll be nice. So you guys will always. So expect every that. Monday we come into you live and direct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so be make sure cool. you guys check us out. Also, you can buy our merch. On Jamie. Oh, Spreadshirt. We don't got that. Uh, yes. So it's shop.spreadshirt.com slash cream 86. Mm-hmm. And show them that picture one more time. Uh, our right. little, yeah. Coming yeah, to you hot. So the fresh. new shirt going to be coming out, and this is just obviously the graphic. Hot yeah, we're going to we're gonna, I'm gonna throw this up tonight, too. Yeah. So we have so, it. Oh, yeah. I don't know why. Eh, whatever. Oh, it's because I was But yeah, so one. basically this will be the shirt that will be up tonight, which you'll see tomorrow, obviously, because we're putting this out tomorrow. So we talked about it on our stream as well. So, yeah, check it out. Um, Support. Please support. Yeah, definitely. Like like they said earlier on the stream, uh, we don't pocket any of this money. Anything that we make goes directly back into the show to bring you better content. And And equipment. And equipment to help produce a a good show. We, We are not. By any means. <laughs> we're broke. <laughs> Making money off this. Yes, yeah. we're broke. And if you are a follower on my Facebook post, uh, you saw the <laughs> other day that I was like, I need a second job. So, yeah. yep. <laughs> so And I think we're negative now because this shit is not fucking cheap. Oh, <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. We had to hire a guy to come in. Mm-hmm. Paint, like, yeah, he's, yeah. he's like an expert. Yeah, yeah, it's some crazy shit. <laughs> so uh, make sure you check out all our streams of information and media so you guys stay you know, informed on what's going on. And thank you to the people that support this channel and that have been rocking with us from the beginning. Yeah. yeah it's been yeah. Or even the ones that have come on lately and they've right. literally yeah, taken yeah. it upon themselves. There's multiple people I know that start in the beginning right. and walk their way up right. through all the podcasts. So, so I mean, pretty impressive. It, it, it's, it's pretty dope. And... We're we're definitely blessed to be able to do yeah, this. Yeah, absolutely. To dude. listen to, and you can get that shirt too. Three to four idiots, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> rambling yeah, sure. for hours, complaining about the government, yeah, right? Sure. So you whenever know. somebody asks, like if people ask me, like, "Well, what's your show about?" Like, mostly it's just us complaining about the government. <laughs> 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 like, I mean, really, you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, it is yeah. what it is. <laughs> yeah. So thank you again, Freedom Fighters, for supporting us. Uh, 
emotionally and being there. Yeah, absolutely. Now support us, honey. <laughs> <laughs> this is a plea. We need your help, please. please for God's sakes. <laughs> Somebody buy something, please. Cool. Let me get you guys the wrap, wrap up real up, quick, Jamie. and then we can go ahead and call it an evening. David Hogg is an asshole. Asshole. Still, he's still an asshole. Fucking caveman. Fuck. Spiders are assholes. The, yeah, I don't, I, I, yeah, yeah, I don't want them. Hey, yeah. Pay for your KFC, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to be stealing shit. Don't be a yeah, dick. or be Batman and go stop crime. <laughs> Mon- Monsanto is still assholes. Assholes. Again. Man. Jesus Christ. Independence Day was awesome, asshole. <laughs> yes, that it shit was. was pretty fucking tight. <laughs> Satellite internet is slow, asshole. I don't know what fucking Elon Musk thinks he's doing. Yeah. It's, it's not like, going to be It's not going to be good. The beginning of the dial-up. <laughs> 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 That's all you get. If yeah. you if you want to get an abortion, get one, asshole. Sure. Like we're not here to fucking tell you what you can yeah. and can't do. It's yeah. your body. The you individual has the choice for their to own body. Want with it. Make sure you check out our social media and buy a shirt, asshole. Mm-hmm. Help yeah, support absolutely. the channel and don't be an asshole. Mm-hmm. Straight up. All right, folks. That's all we have for you tonight. It's been episode number thirty-seven of the Grim eighty-six Freedom First podcast. And we're out. We'll see you next time. Peace.